What up, Kalish crew? Hi. Welcome to Kalish Eat and Greet. I got Rob here with me. Um, we're at Sonic today. So uh, we got a bunch of food <laughs> and we're gonna eat in the car with you guys. We really actually just pulled up to one of these spots in the little drive-in section. Um, yeah, so I got one of these really long, well, foot long. Oh, I got a, a fork too. It's as long as a foot. Yeah, it is actually a foot. I don't think my foot's this big. Uh, yeah, foot long Coney dog. Oh, looks it actually good. looks amazing. That looks awesome, yeah. <laughs> Wow, I hopefully you guys can see that. That yeah, looks good. And then, yeah, what else? What did you get? So I got, I, more stuff I got a regular normal size to hot dog. Wait, what? Yeah, mm. but I didn't get all the stuff on it. I just got cheese and onions and ketchup. I didn't get chili and Ooh, stuff. That actually looks really good. Yeah, too. it's gonna be good. I actually like the hot dogs here a lot. So. Yeah, I was I asking. Have, oh, go ahead. Yeah, I also got. I just want to go through my rundown. For I sure. Got, for sure. I got chili oh, cheese tater tots. Um, oh my god, it's heavy. This cheese is probably sticking to it. Oh, oh yeah. This, <laughs> okay, this is my chili cheese tots. I am all about tater tots lately. My work has these amazing tater tots, and I just eat them every. I day. was just telling them about that yesterday awesome. or in my video two days Man, ago. This is gonna be awesome. And I got oh, popcorn so chicken. I used to get that here. I think it's uh, so good yeah. here. And they forgot to give us any dipping sauces, yeah, so we have. They did give me the cheese sauce because I have. Um, let me show you the rest yeah, of what yeah, I got. Pretzels. Yeah, I got these little pretzel sticks, which I love. And a couple of cheese sauce, and then I got, um, oh, I got a corn dog too. So I mean, that's nothing special, but. And that's sandwich. And then the main thing that I wanted to try was the new mm -hmm. grilled cheeseburger. I think it's called. Or right, yeah, um, which is basically like a grilled cheese. A grilled cheese with a burger. burger. Wait, what? Yeah, it's man. supposed to be a double burger, but I don't even see any that's meat fine. in here. It's in there. Oh yeah, there's oh, look how much cheese is in there. So yeah, it's a double patty. There's cheese. There's onion. It looks like. And I added mayo. It's supposed to come with um, ketchup, and, uh, ketchup and mustard, but I just didn't get ketchup and mustard. So. And we got our yeah. Sonic drinks, which are always good. Oh yeah, what'd you I get? I got blue raspberry slushy. I, I got, know what you got a strawberry limeade. Yes. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, the slushy. Oh. Well, so slushy's <laughs> crazy good. I mean, it's just the best. Okay, it is so limey. It's try. It's so Hello. sour. Oh my god. Sorry guys. That's all I made. Oh, it, I'm, it's never been that sour before. It's good. I mean, I'll, I'll drink that. It's amazing. Do you see what I'm, see what I'm saying? Ah! <laughs> what is that? I should have got a water too, dude. That is not a refreshing beverage. No. Well, I think they just put a little bit too much. Uh, Whatever. Something. Yeah, I'm going to try this grilled cheese burger thing. I've been, I'm just munching. I'm mm. popcorn, some chickens. Oh, right up my alley, you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. They always have the Texas toast. That's like a big thing. This is the best thing. I mean, mm -hmm. like, yeah, any like all the breakfast sandwiches yeah, breakfast are the one. Texas toast. Mm. We were talking about something here, like what should we get? I was like, man, their breakfast is like good, but it's so aggressive. It's like so eggy and cheesy What'd you say? and sauce. McDonald's on crack. Or yeah, something? it's like McDonald's yeah. breakfast on crack, where it's like it's also like oh, it's that you know that breakfast sandwich layer, but it's like so much more. Mm. I've always felt that like. The burritos here, like the breakfast burritos, yeah. are, first of all, they're way too big. Yeah. I mean, you don't need all that, but also they're just so salty, like crazy salty. Mm. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no. All right. Let's try this little twisted pretzel. Mm. I'm going to try this one. Yeah. Like pretzels? Well, I like the cheese too. You gotta get it in the cheese sauce. Oh, yeah. How did I forget about that? I don't know. I need a fork for these tots because they are coming apart. Mm. Are they good? Yeah. I really feel like good. their chili here is really it good. It is really good. These are awesome. Oh, man. So, we're just gonna mm. feast it up. We're, we're both really hungry. It's afternoon and we've been up since the morning. Actual adult stuff. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, you do it. Get in there. Do it up. I don't, I'm afraid to reach. Would oh. you mind? Mm -hmm. Just because I have this stuff balancing mm. gingerly on my lap. <laughs> gingerly. Mm -mm -mm. I'm obsessed with this grilled cheeseburger. I would order this every single day. This is a 10 out of 10, you guys. Mm. You gotta try this too. Yeah, that's awesome. Yep. That's very good. You can keep that cheese sauce if you want for your uh, chicken or something. Because I have another one. Try this. Yeah. I'm like making you try everything that I have. It's. It's very oh, the good. the mayo looks like it doesn't belong. I know, it didn't. <laughs> I added it. 
Oh, but man. how fucking good is that? You know what that's the like? The onion. Oh, it's, it's like, like a, patty a patty melt. melt. It's a patty melt, yeah. It's like a ram's horn as patty As soon as you melt, said, you like know what, I, yep. I ate one of those like every day for two years. Mm. Let me try a popcorn chicken in the cheese. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. something to dip it in, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like I did order the mustard and and I ordered mustard. What did I order for you? No ranch. ranch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he he was like, "Do you want any extra sauces?" And I'm like, "Well, no, not extra. <laughs> the, right, the, the regular ones for. that I order." Yeah. All right, this is looking. This is like mm-hmm. really intimidating. Um, I wonder if one of these sides opens up. They probably do. Yeah. Yep. And you can just slide it. That's a good. That's a good idea. I'm really digging the tops. <sighs> this is so much food, you guys. So, how many of you guys have a Sonic near you? For the longest time, we didn't. We used to drive to Ohio for it. We yeah. did like once or twice. Yeah, we would have to drive out of the state. But they when did they open this like probably ten Not years well, ago? Not yeah, it was a while ago. But it was like, yeah, this is like right, right in the middle of Westland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. it literally takes us like seven minutes to get here. Five minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Dog's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I should add onions to it. Yeah. I, I think I did, but they didn't put it on there. Doggy onions on your chili dog. All right, let's have a regular hot dog with cheese mm. on it. A uh, shitload of onions. They put all your onions on mine. Oh, uh, right? Oh, yeah, you do the open. Yeah. Oh, man. Their chili here is so good. It is. Honestly. Like, I'm not a fan of their, like, regular, like, burgers or chicken sandwiches. You they're okay. I mean? They're they're all right. Mm, I don't like they're them. They're nothing special. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-mm. I haven't had a hot dog in a long time. I know. Who buys hot dogs and makes them? Hot dogs are so underrated as food, though. Like, because first of all, yeah. they're just, they're crazy cheap. They're just like nothing. They're, so they, cheap. They're, they're worth. It's like buying like you ramen buy, like, or like thirty bologna. of them for yeah. like five dollars, and it's like so it's you true. could yeah, but you just don't. Why don't we? Oof. I think I'm, I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. I don't even know. And see like fuck's going on with this because it's really sour oh the top is is not sour at all oh okay so they must have so put the, in yeah. the sour stuff and then the sweet stuff and not not mixed it mm. okay much better because i was like i'm not gonna be able to like eat this food if i don't have something to drink mm. oh much better plus there's like those little bits of strawberry mm-hmm. oh that's so good you want a forkful of pot a small forkful okay <laughs> Do they have chili cheese fries here or just tots? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, I should have gotten the chili cheese fries, too. I mean, I'm trying to get you some tottage. Oh, that, yeah, get that one. There, and then we're, we're there just, we go. That's fine. They're all just crumbles. Yeah, it's all falling apart. Oh, God. Let's not drop that. So, oh, ah, I knew it's it. It's so good, though. Oh, wow. Isn't that killer? Right? It kind of reminds me of, like, like if you would put, like, chili cheese on top of hash browns mm-hmm. because it's so, like... Ha- cut, like cut up, tater you know? tots are what I wish hash browns were, you know. Yeah. So it's like they're the crispiest and the cookedest, but they just don't quite. Mmm. I love corn dogs, you guys, so so much. Hey. I so really want mustard with this though. Can I try that? I've oh, never yeah. tried a corn dog in my life. Oh. Yeah. My God, you not guys. once. I don't know what. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. It's good. Okay. You've never been to like a fair and gotten a corn dog. Oh. It's good. Yeah. It's like a hot dog. Yeah. With like cornmeal, oh, yeah. cornbread around it, yeah. kind of. It's like a hot dog mm-hmm. with better breading. Yeah. You know what you would like is my um, Korean corn dog, cheese dog, cheese dogs. But you might not like it because you you're not a big cheese fan. What's a Korean about it? Well, it's Korean because instead of this, like, like cornbread sort of situation on mm-hmm. outside, um, they use actual dough with yeast in it, and they put like breadcrumbs on the outside, like panko breadcrumbs. Oh yeah, I would like so that. it gets really crispy. It's like it's like eating like into crunching into a and fried is there, chicken. Like, cheese in it. Cheese in it and hot dog sometimes. Oh, well, there's way. not always hot dog in it. Nope. Sometimes it's just cheese. It's like mm. a cheese stick, like a big cheese stick. All right. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's cool. I have that on my channel, guys. If you haven't seen that one, it was like Korean corn dogs, homemade Korean corn dogs. I'm gonna do that for my ASMR channel probably in a couple weeks too. So stay tuned. We'll you know check out my ASMR channel. Mm. Awesome, but yeah, this is really good with mustard on it. I always get mustard. I believe that. Yeah. I know you don't like mustard. I don't like ketchup. Mustard, I would like on hot dogs and sometimes hamburgers, and that's it. I like brown mustard. I don't really like yellow mustard as yeah. much. You know what I mean? I don't know. As I've grown older, I've like 
gravitated more towards like the basic condiments for things you know what i mean yep. like when it comes to burgers i'll be like you know what like ketchup and mustard and mayo or whatever what about tomato and throw lettuce? them all on there i'm getting there you know nice. not all the way there i still don't really do tomatoes but um yeah i'm just like like i used to be like oh, remember we used to go to um like we would get our double cheeseburgers playing all the time yeah right? just like just never. cheese like no vegetables, I was like you know no what i can condiments. put the stuff that they put on it it's, it's fine yeah Good. Get yeah. how it comes. And like with hot dogs, it's like I used to not like mustard on hot dogs, but now really? it's like I want everything except for relish on a hot dog. Mm. Literally, you could put like a like a like venison on relish. There. You put, relish is good too. I don't like relish. I don't like pickles, you know. Mm. Mm. But um, any like everything you can put on a hot dog, I want. On we should it. do that um gourmet hot dog place again. Because mm -hmm. that place you could literally put anything on a hot dog. They have like no breakfast hot dogs, mm -hmm. like bacon hot dogs, like I don't know. Bacon wrapped hot dogs. dogs. Yeah. You know, lots of sour I don't even crow. know. But, um, they had a bunch of weird stuff. Well, like every like city, that's a good idea. Yeah. Every city has like their own variation of hot dog, like Chicago, New York, and I don't know, Vegas. <laughs> Joe's Vegas. No. Their own. <laughs> Vegas like, what? <laughs> that sounds like. We could make one. <laughs> mm. Do you have a question of the day for today, bud? I was supposed to think of one, wasn't oh, I? Oh, no, you I don't, don't have, have to. I can I can do one really quick. We're gonna have him choose one. He's good at it. <sighs> Take your time. Let's okay, just what were we talking about last night? We had like a weird oh, meta shit, metaphysical we? conversation. Oh, were we? Well, when I was, was like, I? I was ninety percent asleep. I was very, was I? I was very slap happily sleep tired last night because we stayed up to watch the football game. Even though I was, he was so. Done. Yeah, he I got, got home at early. six and I was ready for bed, but I stayed up an extra six hours. Um, oh, what was it? Was it about sports? No, oh. I don't think so. Man, oh, I feel like I let you down because I was no. supposed to think of one. Well, just keep eating. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, find, I'm gonna find one. If not, it's coming. I'll think I'm of one too. I'm good at this stuff. Yeah, sometimes I'll just go out into the living room and be like, "Hey, bud, what's my question of the day be today?" Yeah. He'd just be like, "Um, this." Da 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 da. Oh my god. I have really done that one. before. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mm. But now you're on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. let's move on from. Well, I'm actually gonna finish this. Good job. I was telling him, look, I'm I'm not gonna finish the burger. Probably I'm not gonna finish the hot dog. You're not gonna finish the hot dog. No. Look at it. It's fucking huge what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. Clean up the scraps. Yep. Not eat the tots. <laughs> mm. <sighs> so fucking good. Okay, so I might I might have something of an idea. Okay. God, I don't know how to form mm. it in question of the day style. Okay, so Miranda and I watched the whole Tom Brady playing against the Patriots thing for the first time ever last night mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know we, we were we were watching it like kind of like it's just kind of crazy to see a guy like we've always hated Tom Brady <laughs> like to see a guy who's like yeah. played just been like so good at what his job for 20 years and famous and in the spotlight and stuff it's like is it just easy for him <laughs> you know but my question is like like for him to be that like good at what he does and that like viciously like pursuant of his goals and stuff i don't like think driven. he can be a good person you know i don't think he could be like Ooh, a warm okay. empathetic person so and i don't know like how far you get into like politics on this page but like you know how cops oh, like if to be a cop you kind of have to be a, like a jerk you kind of have to be like you a bully. Have to have, like, this weird, you like, have to have a weird power, power complex yeah just just so you can kind of make an assumption on somebody just based on like what they do because a normal mm -hmm. person wouldn't think that they could go out and police other human beings for no reason, right? <laughs> so, in order to be the best at something, I feel like you need a little bit of, like, sociopathy. You need to be a little bit... A little bit not caring of yeah, others. Yeah, a little bit yeah. just, just, just not right. Flipping so, them. So, what is, like, another job that you think that it Ooh. takes a really specific kind of person? Ooh to do you oh, know what yeah. i mean is that good yeah I, I figured out right at the end how to do a question that's pretty day, meta so. yeah because like i think like for tom like to be a, an nfl quarterback i think it takes just a crazy amount of for just 20 like 20 years ego so much ego yep. that just like because mm -hmm. you're gonna make mistakes and you're gonna you know yeah and and but you just have to have this crazy ego about you to be successful at it you know yeah that's true i was just it was just mind-blowing that like yeah. this guy it's his whole life like if he's not playing football, he's forty-four and he's not football. close to done. Like, why not? Yeah. You've done everything. Why are you, you done? You have all because the money. he's that much of a crazy person that he can't. He stop. just wants to keep doing you know? better. He wants to keep breaking that records. There has to be something. There has to be something. There. Are there even any other records that are? Can be, I mean, are he's got breakable? pretty much all of them now. Yeah, like pretty much. Give up. 
I might give up. But like, I guess quit. he's going for that oldest guy to ever fucking play, like George Blando. I guess. Yeah. Oh, if you guys don't know, so Tom Brady is a quarterback for the the, the uh, Tampa Bay Bucks now. The Buc yeah. Buccaneers. He used to be, like two years ago, he used to be um, with the Patriots. He was with the Patriots for like you know, Eight, eighteen years. Eighteen years. They won seven. And Super, he just so he Super just Bowls left. Yeah. And um, so the Patriots, you know, have a new quarterback now. Obviously, it was like a little rookie. Mm -hmm. um, so last night is when Tom Brady with his new team, the Buccaneers, came to play the Patriots. Yep. Um, and so it was like this whole like big deal of like, oh, you know, yeah, their rival, you know, like yeah. whatever. Are the fans gonna be happy that he's there? Yeah, are they gonna you know? root for him or are they gonna root for their team, right. the Patriots? It was, you know? it was it was super interesting, very interesting to watch. And I've always hated the team, the Patriots, right. but I also hated Tom Brady. So I was like, who do I root for? <laughs> yeah, right, right. No, well, it was kind of like that, but it was just fun. It was, it was fun, fun to watch fun. anyway. Yeah. Um, Mm. I don't know. What do you think about like other jobs that are like that? Like, okay, uh, there's got to be something else. Like, to, like a politician, right? To be a politician, you sure. kind of have to think like, oh, I'm just smarter and better than everyone. What about like surgeons? So surgeons yeah. probably have yeah. to be a little bit, yeah, like what sociopathic. Is that? Just because like digging inside of someone's body, like like organs happens, yeah. and blood and like something like that'll happen a lot with a lot feel, of doctors or like morgue like a yeah. morgue uh, mortician desensitized it will happen mm -hmm. but i don't know if that's something that will lead you to being a mortician where you don't it's, but it would mm. be something like oh because you're a mortician oh maybe you maybe you I mean? start off being like Ooh, yeah this but, is gross yeah. and then you get used to it but i guess it would be like there's a weeding out process when there's like you know amateur morticians like becoming professionals and like, like the fainting. ones that can't do it go away yeah. they stop you know so maybe you're yeah that's that's not bad that's good but also, like, with doctors, too, though, it's, like, you have to go to school for, like, so many years. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, work your way up and do all, like, mm. it's so much work. Yeah. To be able to eventually get your own practice, even, you yep. know, maybe. Even if that's, even if that's Ugh. possible for you to do. Yeah. So, like, being a doctor in general will be tough because you have to like deal with, like, death. Like, long-term goal, and, like, super, you know, yeah. But you also have to be good with people. You have to be, mm -hmm. like, so you can't just be this, like... You know, sociopathic dude who doesn't know how to fucking talk to people. Yeah, like you imagine being a doctor that just like, ha just like I don't, I don't hang out with anyone. I don't see anyone. I yeah. don't, you know, I prefer to do my doc. Oh, like like house, house was like that, right? He was oh, like, yeah. I don't ever want to meet my patients until mm -hmm. I walk in and I instantly find out what was wrong. With them. Maybe I should have done that from the beginning. Have you guys ever seen House? By the way, oh, so good, oh. such a good show. Very it's about this doctor, this hypothetical doctor we're talking about who has no Basically. social skills and can't, but he, he's just... It's, it's kind of, I think that show is kind of based off of, like, Sherlock Holmes situation where, like... Oh, yeah, he's very um, Sherlock He's Holmes. Sherlock, and then, what's the other guy's name? Um, the cancer Wilson doctor? Wilson is Watson. Wilson is yeah. Watson, yeah. That's, like, his best friend um, in the show. And, like, the, yeah. the, the medicine, like, the medic, it's always a medical mystery. It's, like, no one else can figure out what's wrong yeah. with this it's guy. Literally, like, he's a detective house. of medicalness. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's a really, really, really good show. And the guy's also, he's a drug addict. He's a, mm -hmm. um, a Vicodin addict. Vicodin, yep. And so he's a doctor who's always high on pills. <laughs> it's just, like... It's just really funny, really, oh, it's really so good, though. smart, though, too. And Very interesting. they have doctors that work on their structuring, their, structuring their episodes, so there's always, like, a believable medical mystery. Mm -hmm. It's not like this guy's got worms in his ears like what do we do it's like <laughs> no it's out. like legitimately something that could happen and it's like i don't know it's it's, it's a super good mm -hmm. show um yeah tom red loves it right like mm -hmm. tom red watches it, like a tom. i've never seen the ending of it me oh, neither <laughs> <sighs> um but yeah what other jobs so i have doctor mortician yeah. what did you say well it's not like politician politician yeah. um i think like even just like like, obviously, there's certain things. I think, like, your personality can kind of lead into what you do a lot. You know what I yeah. mean? So so there's a lot of... I think there's a lot of options, you know? Because, like, you think of, like, a business owner. A business owner, like, a small business owner, even, it has to be somebody who's, like, very aggressively, like... Like, you do have to be crazy hardworking at the beginning, unless you just, like, get gifted the, the mm. business or you're rich to begin with, you right? Inherit it, right? But if you're somebody, like, who, who starts as an employee and then starts their own business... You Start have to work a ton for nothing at the beginning. So well, because really when you open up a business, that. you don't start with employee. I mean, you yeah. could. But no, like, no, 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 you don't. You have to train them. Yeah. You don't have the money for employees mm -hmm. when you start. Like, if, if you're a rich person yeah. who's like, I'm going to take this eight, right. $800 million and work, then you can literally just today open up a mm -hmm. new, you know, pizzeria or a new freaking, like, cell phone store or something. And you don't, you could pay everybody because you have the money. But that's not how, like, that's not what, like, the like, American small business is about. basically, when you open a business, you have to, like, do all this stuff to get your, like, business name, yeah. the building. Like all this, you know, mm -hmm. you have to have this the city like check to make sure the building's up. Tons to code. of money saved. Up. It then, costs. It costs so much. And this much is money. like all like you can get a small business loan, but that's not going to cover payroll for more than like probably a week. No. And then even like, you then, have to start making profit right away. Yeah, and then you look at yourself like, how much money am I going to make off this out of profit? And it's like <laughs> nothing. You're not going to. It's going to be really, really hard. So like, yep. that's something that I think you you have to be like 
Dude, like, I, I would give up, like, instantly, mm -hmm. right? If the first time it was hard, I would be like, I I'm done, business. I'm gonna go work at Walmart, you know, I don't care. <laughs> but, like, um, you know, some people, you know, you have to stick it out. It's one of those things that requires a lot of perseverance. I don't even have a lot of respect for small business owners. I just think it's something <laughs> that, like, a person, that like, you really do have to have that You have like, to be that special, that little, like, kind of really yeah, hard worker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think musician, too. Like, yeah. maybe, maybe composer or, like, writer. If you're, like, a... a you, a music composer or like an actual like writer of a books or like poetry I feel like that takes a lot of like motivation to like get yourself to like I agree with that too I think it's a different sort I think of any like, type of creative artistry kind of requires a little bit of like uh, deep down unhappiness if yeah. that makes sense like you kind of have a little bit to, of crazy yeah it's like you're trying to find something good in a mm -hmm. world that you maybe and that's not always 100% of the truth uh, none of these are 100% mm -hmm. but like I feel like there, you know there's there's gotta be some things I think that would be cool you know what I was thinking the, comments, the other day you know? yeah yeah uh, this is like completely well it's kind of related but it's not related really to the question sure but i was thinking the other day like you know our dad right mm -hmm. how he's like all sad and like all oh, whatever poor me whatever yeah like why doesn't he write like poetry or like he why doesn't he do he art like yeah but it's i mean because actually so self-obsessed like, he's he so could put that energy yeah. That he doesn't have the idea to think of anything except from his own stupid point of view. So he would write grand poetries about how his life is miserable, but he wouldn't write any poetry. And no one else would relate condition. to it. Yeah. Yeah. So something like he would just be like, it wouldn't work yeah. out. Yeah, he's. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much you guys know about my dad. It's like, crazy how much of a, of a genius he was. No, and he still is, ended up being literally. Like a crazy it wasn't his IQ like, like 150, 160. Yeah, he was, he was absolutely insane. insanely smart person, but he was you know really also had a lot of yeah mental health issues. Yeah. Are you going to finish that hot dog? Oh, no, do you want it? Yeah. I am absolutely done. I was putting all my garbage away, up. but... Yeah, it's about half a hot dog this right there. This is like Maybe a regular-sized hot dog yeah. now, and I'm going to eat it. I ate more than I thought I was going to eat, though. You did good, man. Did you eat everything in that box? Uh-huh. Cool. Um, I'm putting this down here. <laughs> is it good, though, with the chili it's cheese? So good. It's amazing, right? <laughs> Just, oh, you can put that in that thing. Oh. So, yeah, guys, let yeah, let us know. Okay, so let's try to rephrase the question again. Oh, I have a better, one, a better oh, way to phrase it. it. Um, Perfect. What is a quality Ooh. that you think you need for your job? Like, what's a oh, like, you know, apply like, it to yeah, you, yeah. Like okay. something that whatever you do, what's like mm. a personality trait that you think fits really well with that All right, job? Do it for a poker dealer. You're a poker dealer. So, what's a quality that you have that you would actually need that anyone would need to be good at your job? Or to just do it in general. Um, do it. I would say. You have to be personable. That is the super number one thing. And you don't yeah, have to be Yeah, imagine a dealer that's not. So for, for like casino jobs or whatever, maybe not. But like for my specific job. Because you're, you're a manager too. You're coming in there and you're quiet or shy or reserved. Or you don't like to talk to people. <laughs> and either the job will open you up or it's not going to work out. You know what I mean? Because right. like nobody wants to. Like it's a very, it's a very customer interaction job more than almost any other one. Like yeah. how many how many service industry jobs do you know where you sit down next to your customer for hours? Like and you're <laughs> talking to them for hours. Like that's you not You literally you were just saying last night how how much you know about these people. Mm -hmm. Like um there was this one guy that I was sitting next to I played poker yeah. yesterday mm -hmm. and I was like asking Bud about it him and he's like, Oh let me tell you about this guy Rick mm -hmm. you know and then he, he starts going off and listing like things about his personal life yeah. the, you know, people he has feelings for yeah. and I'm like and he's, I know, this yeah. is just one of his customers. This is a guy that comes in only once a week, just Sundays. I know yeah. everything about him. Everything. Because he's, it's, yeah. you've been doing that with him for 10 years. Yeah. And you get to know someone. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Poker is a really interesting thing because it's like... I think you wouldn't like it if you weren't if you weren't like a personal like a person social. and re a social well, person. Yeah, the job, yeah. But I'm saying, I'm saying like you could you know, playing poker, you can go in and just mm -hmm. throw your headphones in mm -hmm. and never look or never talk to anyone. Mm -hmm. Like so, a lot of different kinds of people go yep. play poker, but to work in a poker room, yeah, yeah. you need to fucking because that's the most interesting thing about that job is like all these poker is a very grand equalizer <laughs> thing. Like anybody can play. Yeah, Anybody should show up and have fun and and be good mm -hmm. or not good or like it. Or win, you know? So yeah, even if you're not good. So it's a very it's a very vastly <laughs> different amount like people when, yeah. it, when it comes to racially or like gender. You know all these things like yeah, yeah, like so many different types political, of people. Like everybody yeah. plays poker. They all can. It's mm -hmm. really fun and exciting, and, and it's easy to get addicted. You know all these things. It's really a, like the one place I've ever been that has the most variety of people. Like yeah, you know when I go to my job or something, it's yeah. like a lot of you know like sort of middle upper class mm -hmm. like white people yep. that you know no no you know gay people no real yep. like you know you know and then um, I mean they're getting better you know about hiring more diverse people they are. But you have to try. It's but, not something but, yeah. that happens naturally. No, but if you go to the poker room, it's like. Mm -hmm. 
you literally just talk to anyone mm -hmm. and there's like a homeless guy over here. Yep. There's like a CEO of a company over here. Yeah. There's a guy who, you know, moved here five years ago from, you know, Pakistan or something. And like, I don't know, there's just like a million different kinds of people yeah. and you can learn so much from that. And it's just, it's just a fucking poker room. There might know. be other jobs like that too, you know, yeah, I'm sure there is, but like poker is, I've been doing it like my whole life and it's just like, to me, it's like, so diverse. Man. There's, there's a million, there's just every kind of person. Yeah. Pretty much. Good people, bad people. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's weird because you'd be like, oh, Rob, what about, like, uh, Valley Girls? Yeah, Valley Girls like to gamble, it turns out. Oh, And they'll come are. in and they'll play. Yep. And they won't be good at first, but then they'll get obsessed uh -huh. and they'll play. Because Valley every girls. single person likes to do it. Like, <laughs> no matter what, you can't think of a type of person. Emos. Yeah, they like to, yep. they'll gamble. It's fun. <laughs> they'll gamble. Anyone will gamble. If you're human, yeah. Yeah. you can gamble. Yeah, and so. not everyone likes it, but, like, you can't say this type of person doesn't yeah. like it. So what about what about your job, though? What's something... Um. Like well, quality. how how my job is like progressed to be like a mm. work from home job. I feel like the one thing you need is to I can you kind of need to not be able to get bored. Yeah. Because like my job like I went from like being a manager at my company, right? And like it would be like, "Oh, this is happening. Oh my god, over here, like, you know, 20 people need me. Yeah. Let me like prioritize that. I'll get back to all of them." Um, but I also am working on this contract that can wait and then like so it was it went from like you know, a list of like a million things that I had to do, everything happening at once, to like now my job is literally just sitting at a computer typing in numbers day after day after day for the same program to the same insurance company, yeah. the same client names, the same caregiver names, like all the time she's right here, I'm just flipping them over. All right, da -da -da, all right, da -da -da. so it's like, but you still have I some kind of, yeah, you still enjoy it, it to some degree. I, I, yes, I, I'm not saying that that's, I'm saying like I, I'm okay yeah. not With having variety, monotony kind yeah, of. monotony, yeah. because that actually makes, me feel comfortable it's like a comfort to me weirdly um i did really thrive on being busy and cha chaotic but i wasn't happy i thrived it's, there's a difference like I, w I was really good at it i thrived um you know you get like a rush all this stuff but i fucking hated my life <laughs> because it was totally. so stressful now i absolutely love doing the same thing every single day and Just, not having any stress yeah. so it's like a better balance for me yeah um i wouldn't say i love 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 my job but i like my job so a couple yeah. th like I feel like there might be somebody that does that same job that that monotony does really bother them but they yeah. still do it you know so yeah, that would be totally somebody could. that's like oh, I hate this job it's the same so thing every day boring. and it's like but it's decent money so I gotta do it you yeah. know so and I that, feel some that people will be in jobs that they don't really fit in like mm -hmm. that you know and also there might be like um totally Oh, there was Someone who could have like a huge amount of anxiety like talking yeah. to people, but they're a poker dealer. Yeah, and, and they're just every just, single day. It's like fuck, 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 like, fuck. I fuck. have to do this. You're yeah. just like, really. I hope nobody. You can fit looks into a today. job that you don't fit in. Yeah. You can force that puzzle piece yeah. in, but there's some qualities mm, that really go with it, though. Yeah, I do wonder if there are some jobs. It's like, yeah, man, anybody could do it. Literally anyone. Mm. Anybody. Probably like you know, like like Will, my friend Will, just started a job. He works at like a diesel company, and all he does is like. Um, monitor like systems. I don't know exactly what it is, but I feel like he <laughs> monitors systems that, um, like that build the engine parts, right? And then huh. if there's a malfunction in it, he literally just pushes a button to fix it. But he has to be there. To but that's make... monotonous as fuck. Yeah, right? that's monotonous. But it's like so anybody easy. can do it. But at the same time, it's like he gets to go and he can be like he can hang out on on TikTok or play Pokemon True. Go and like and they don't even mind because it's like yeah, you're and he's just getting here. paid. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know exactly what it is. I might be like completely messing up what Might his job is. But there's jobs that. like that, you know what I mean? Where like your yeah. whole job is just You're to hang like out. one thing. And, you, you work know. on an assembly line. We yeah. have like the Aunt Millie's Bakery that uh -huh. like our company kind of works with. Do you think like, that's something that to. like, oh, anyone can do? Like maybe, like I don't know if I would be able to do that, you know? Someone with ADHD like you, maybe not. Yeah. Unless you could have other things going on, like being on your phone yeah. and like. But even then it's like uh, that I would feel like, oh, I'm just always on my phone at work and this is boring, you know? I feel like I need a job kind of like, but there might be some other jobs, like I don't know. There's gotta be something. Yeah, let, let's do a question, um, question of the day part two. Mm -hmm. So part one, guys, let us know of what the, what quality is needed to complete your job yeah. and be like successful be at your job. At be good at it. But then part two is gonna be, wait, what was part two? Part again? two is like, <laughs> can you think of a job that there is like almost no Anyone can do, for? yeah. And I'm not talking about unskilled labor. Like at, like anybody could, could like flip burgers at McDonald's probably, but like some people that wouldn't work for them. They wouldn't like it. They wouldn't be good at it. You know what I mean? Sorry guys, the camera just uh, overheated, so it, we had to cut there, but uh, yeah. what were you saying anyway? About um, yeah, we were talking about like, I think a better way to say it is like, anybody could anybody could probably do, like most anybody could probably do most jobs, right? But like, Ooh. who yeah. would be okay with it? You know what I mean? Is there a job that you think anybody like mentally would be okay. mentally okay and would like, like, it, like their job, like any job? I can't really think of anything. So you're saying like, okay, what is a job that pretty much anyone would be like, yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah. Like, that's okay, I, I like that job. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, because that's the main thing. So it's I not feel really like about th there's some good. qualities the job would have to have. Mm -hmm. It would have to be like mentally engaged or like yeah. like you know engaging, but not like overbear or like over. Stressful, you know, stressful. Like taxing and like so kind of just something that physically like, difficult obviously like things that are like yeah you know like that's tough because yeah. like for me like physical doing stuff is a downside to a job even delivering yeah. pizzas for me was like i would be tired and sore mm -hmm. and stuff and i'd be like i went up a bunch of stairs I today i had to wash a bunch of dishes today i was bending over a sink whatever mm. it's like no matter what it sucks yeah. i'm like dealing cards is, is easy is way easier physically but you're still using your arms and shit yeah no no pizza delivery i'm not acting like oh i'm, I'm, I'm sweating away Wait, it's, it's still a relatively easy job physically but yeah. it's like just a little bit of physical labor is like a little bit you dude know, i can't extra. think of one job that everyone would want to do yeah because there are probably some people that want to do physical labor even yeah maybe well yeah there are people like there's people who love like working on cars yeah there's people that love you know yeah. being like a gym trainer like there are like yeah. actual people who like being physical <laughs> Weird, <Yeah>. weirdly like, <laughs> like somebody's like i want to solve problems and then there's somebody else who's like i don't yeah. want to solve any problem yeah. <laughs> and it's like well there's no job where you can have both of those things or neither yeah. you know and like we're one of them you know so probably not mm. there probably isn't anything you but i what? feel like there's probably jobs it's like oh the more closest people. thing i can think mm -hmm. but but it depends on if you can drive or not like if you have a license or not but like doing like DoorDash driving, yeah, man. Like um, you know, delivery driving, or like even like um, because like well, taxi driving yeah. or Uber Eats or, or like because almost everybody like you know driving to take it or leave it. It's yeah, fine. if you drive, I feel like yeah, yeah, it's just like well, I'm just sitting in my car. Like yeah. whatever. now, there's definitely people that are a, either like afraid of driving or don't drive yeah, or so can't then, drive, and so that's you know. But but like as far as just like what's the most people you know what can you get the most people and yeah you know, to be okay with because like if you do like Uber yeah and you like drive people around. You don't even have to talk to them. You know what yeah, I mean? Like you, you can, can turn on you music and you can, or if you're like a really personal person, you can yeah. be like, so how you doing today? Yeah. You know? I don't know. Yeah, that's probably, that's, that's probably pretty high up there though. Yeah. That's probably, that's probably a really good point. But yeah, think about how many go, people do that now when they can't get other jobs. Like mm -hmm. people are like, well, I just do DoorDash. Yeah. Like I've known so many people who have like in between jobs, like done DoorDash. Especially during so all this like unemployment the most stuff. amount, yeah. like the most types of people yeah. can do that kind of job. Like Uber Eats, DoorDash, Postmates, that kind of thing. Or even just like shit. What do they like call the, it the, in the Canada? There's one in Canada called like skip the dishes or something. That's, that's pretty smart. I'm like hell yeah, or like sk skip the something. Skip the line lines or skip the skip the Tupperware. I don't okay. fucking know. Yeah, skip the I don't know. It's it, but it's it was cute. I heard it. I'm like oh that's cute. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Um, yeah, let us know what you think about uh, the questions of the, the questions of the day. Question um, and a half a day. Yeah, question and a half. And make sure also, please um, put down any questions in the comments that you want to hear for the rest of this week and next week. Um, I do pull questions out of a hat now for th uh, with your suggestions or your submissions. So um, definitely do that. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, subscribe. Smash, it. Yeah, smash the like button. Check out the ASMR channel too. Oh yeah, yeah. She I just do. started doing them. She likes them a lot. They're fun. They, I really like them. Yeah, it's just it, I just get to eat and be silent, and <laughs> I mean, I mean, there maybe is a little bit of heavy breathing, but <laughs> other, other than that's pretty silent. <laughs> um, but it's been fun, and uh, I also have a Patreon down there. I have Instagram down there. I have merch. Check out all the links down below, guys, and um, say hi to Rob in the comments. I'll tell him if anyone shouts him out. Yeah, I always um, hear about it. I yeah, I always it. tell him. If anyone's like, oh, tell Robbie, say hi, I'll be like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. Oh, uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on Friday for another video. Bye. Peace.